Hey kid singers, here's another major scale interval video. So in our last major scale interval video, we started with the low do and we learned all the names of the intervals going up to the other notes of the major scale. Now we're gonna do the opposite. So we're gonna start with the high do and learn the names of the intervals going down to the rest of the notes of the major scale with the interval names that you'll learn in this video added to the interval names that you learned in the last video, you will know most of the names of intervals that you can find in music. There's a few exceptions and I can teach you those later in another video, hopefully about theory, how to make an interval, what, uh, how many semitones are in an interval and things like that. It's very interesting, but we've got to put the theory aside for now and just start by learning the names here and then how to sing them all. So first let me teach you all of these names, and then we'll practice singing them, and then I've got a little ear training puzzle for you to try to figure out at the end of the video. So remember, if you and I are singing the same note, we call it unison one sound. There's technically no space between the notes, but when we say that people are singing in unison, we mean that more than one person is singing the same note. If it was just me singing all by myself, it would be called singing solo. So here we go. We'll start with unison, and then from do to T, is a minor second. So in the last video, all of our intervals were either major or perfect. Um, in this video, all the intervals are going to be minor or perfect. So this is a minor second, lowercase m, two, as opposed to the major second, which would be if an uppercase m and a two. So from do to la is a minor third, lowercase m, three. From do to so is a perfect fourth. We were used to thinking of do to so this way, which is a perfect fifth, but the opposite of that from this so to this do is a perfect fourth. So this perfect fifth plus this perfect fourth equals a whole octave. From this do down to fa is a perfect fifth. From this do down to mi is a minor six. From do to re is a minor seventh. And from do to do is an octave. Now you can call an octave or a unison. Both of them can be called perfect. So a perfect octave or a perfect unison. But we're just going to call them octave and unison. It's easier to sing in the exercise. And it's also, I think, more common to, to just say them that way, at least in my experience. So um, we'll sing it unison, minor, second, minor, third, etc. But first, let's start with the solfege because we're most more used to hearing solfege. And then once you've gotten used to that, we'll add the interval names. Then we'll go down to the scale degree. So remember these little hats over numbers down here are referring to scale degrees. And a scale degree just tells you where the note is placed in the scale. So of course, the eighth note is um, the eighth note in the scale. The seven is the seventh note of the scale and so on not to be confused with actually the name of the intervals. Remember an interval is a space between notes and these scale degrees are telling you which notes they actually are. So let's first listen to our little ear training puzzle. Um, I was listening to a song the other day and I heard this little sequence in the song repeated over and over and I thought this would be really perfect for our major scale descending intervals. So here's our scale first of all. And here's the passage that I kept hearing. So as we sing through this, I want you to keep this in mind and see if you can recognize this same pattern as we're singing through. Which notes am I singing and which intervals am I or playing or singing when I do this? Okay, so again, we said we would start with the solfege. We'll do it three times, then we'll do the intervals three times, and then the scale degrees. If you want to follow along with your finger, just like in the last video, go ahead and do that. It might help you to track where we are. Remember when we're singing high, um, you oh, actually anytime we're singing, you try to keep the placement of your voice, the buzzing, the resonance here in the front of your face and out instead of letting it squeak into your throat or drop down when you go down the full octave. Do. We want it to sound more like this. Do, do. You still keep the resonance high and forward. Do, 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 ti, do, do, la, do, do, so, do, do, fa, do, do, mi, do, do, re, do, 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 do. Let's do it again. 
again. Let's do it slower this time. Do, 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 ti, do. starting with unison. I forget what I'm doing halfway through. All right, now let's do it with the scale degree numbers, starting with eight. Uh, remember, one and eight are the same note. They're both do, but because I want you to be able to easily distinguish which note is the highest do and which note is the lowest do, we're going to call it eight. And we'll say set for seven. Eight, 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 set, eight, eight, six, eight, eight, five, eight, eight, four, eight, eight, three, eight, eight, two, eight, eight, one, eight. Eight, 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 set, eight, eight, six, eight, eight, five, eight, eight, four, eight, eight, three, eight, eight, two, eight, eight, one, eight. One more time. Eight, 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 set, eight, eight, six, eight, eight, five, eight, eight, four, eight, eight, three, eight, eight, two, eight, eight, one, eight. There you go. So after hearing that whole sequence nine times, uh, we're going to play again for you that little pattern that I played before, and we'll see if you can figure out what the intervals are this time. Here's our scale again. And here's the pattern. faster this time. All right, once you've figured that out, you can let us know. Keep practicing this to work on your intervals and your ear training. Happy practicing. Hope to see you all soon. Bye.